Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, Bill Allen Hensley here. You know, I've been doing some research on a lot of different topics, but the main one I want to address today is the fact that, you know, with this administration, and yes, I'll go ahead and say it, this illegal administration, we have seen a drastic rise in homelessness, crime, and our country being invaded by illegal fighting age men. Now, I got a really big issue with our homeless population of veterans. We, as a nation, as a people, we need to do better by our veterans. We need to give them more programs, help them get on their feet, help them address the mental health issues, which, trust me, we have a lot of, and things of that sort. <clears throat> However, this administration wants to send all of our money to Ukraine, a country on the other side of the world, a country that most people could not find on a map if you pinpointed it for them. And he wants nothing for this country. The evidence I have for it, for that statement, is quite simply put. New York, Chicago, L.A., look at all the fucking homeless people. All right, most of them are veterans. They don't want to do nothing. The government ain't doing shit for them. Now, we do have some programs that are in place to help veterans, yes. However, they're exceedingly not done right. I'll put it that way. They are huge, and I mean huge, like 10, 20 year waiting list for different shit and stuff like that. We as a nation need to do better for our, our veterans. Uh -oh. And yes, this is a political video, and yes, I am running for President of the United States. I'd have to be a writing, what's called a writing candidate, which means you write my name. On the ballot, my last name is spelled H-I-N-G-E-L-E-Y. That's Hotel India November Gulf Echo Lima Echo Yuma. And if I get elected, I guarantee you my one of my first executive orders, not the first, but one of the first will be to overhaul the VA, all of our programs for veterans, to make new programs for veterans, and to sincerely and effectively help out our veterans who are on the street. I will do everything I can to get them off the street. They served our country, they fought for our, our country, they were willing to die for our rights, we need to do better by them. And anyone, I don't care, anyone across the aisle, Democrat, Republic, Independent, I don't give a fuck. If you don't fucking want us to help our veterans, you're not a patriot, get the fuck out of my country. It's that simple. I'm a very simple, straight shooting, black and white type of dude, and that's the fucking bottom line. If you don't like fucking helping our veterans, you're not a patriot, get the fuck out. If I'm elected president, I can guarantee three things. One, we're going to help our veterans. Two, we're going to help our children be able to read and write and do math at the appropriate levels. And the third thing will be that uh, 
that border will be fucking locked down tighter than a virgin's fucking hymen on a fucking... On the day she was born when daddy put on a fucking chastity belt on her that was metal and locked with 20 different locks. Alright. I'll lock that border down so good there won't be a fucking crow that flies across it that we don't know about. And yes, a lot of people wouldn't like the way I shut down the border, and I don't care. Because Mexico will pay for it. Or, well, we'll do what we have to do on that issue. You see, I'm not a warmonger. I don't want us getting into new wars or anything. In fact, I want to get us out of wars so that maybe this country could see what it's like to actually be at peace. And maybe the rest of the world could see that, you know what? We got to step the fuck up because the U.S. ain't policing us anymore. And yes, I would stop the world, the U.S. from being the world's police department. And another thing I would do is, quite simply put, I would tell the U.N., Hey, you want to be on U.S. soil? Fine. Pay us. Motherfuckers ain't been paying us. You're renting our land. Pay us. Give us money or move your fucking headquarters. It's that simple. Tell the rest of the world. Real simple too. Start paying your own share or go fuck yourself. It is what it is. Like I said, I'm a simple individual. I tend to look at the world rather simply. And I do my research on shit. I don't just uh, go off the cuff and spout shit and talk about shit I don't know about. In this instance, I'm very much aware of the issue. And, uh, yeah, we need to do better by our vets. Another thing I'll do is I'll make it a federal crime to... Sex traffic kids, the uh, traffic in child pornography, human sex trafficking, any of that shit. I will make it a federal crime punishable by death. Public executions. I will bring them fucking back. I guarantee one or two fucking people get executed on public and online and yeah, that should have stopped. Because when it comes to a kid, you don't fucking do shit, certain shit to a kid. If you hurt a kid, you know, you beat him. And I don't mean you spank him with the fucking belt. No, I mean you fucking beat the hell out of that kid. That kid's got to go to the ER or worse. Well, let's say the kid's 12 years old. You're going to get 24 years in prison for every hit you did on that kid. That was beyond correction. That means if you hit the kid, say, 20 times, that's 20 times 24. That's a long fucking time to be locked up. And I guarantee you start doing that People st definitely start thinking twice before laying a hand on a kid that's not correction. And I will give the parents back the rights to discipline their child. I will remove any law that is not in the best interest of the child and or constitutional. I'll remove it with the executive order if need be because we need to protect our future, which is the children, and we need to do better by our vets who have put their fucking life on the line and put their lives on hold for our country. <coughs> and anyone who doesn't like that, 
I will reiterate, can get the fuck out of my country. It's that simple. Well, this has already been longer than I planned. So, until next time, use your brain. It's the one weapon nobody can ever take away from you. Until next time, I'll be seeing you.